I've just arrived at Four Rivers Floating Lodge Eco Resort on the Tatai River in Cambodia and I'm just going to show you a little sneak peek of our, you can see the floating tents behind me, luxury floating tents. There's our deck chairs, husband is in there reading, I've told him he's not allowed to unpack until I take some nice videos of our tent which I'm sure he's very happy about. So just follow me inside. Hi husband. Hello. So this is just looking around this huge, it's a huge tent. We even have a DVD player over here. And a massive torch for when we go out at night. It comes with all amazing amenities you can see in here. It's a rainforest shower, all clean linen, two sinks and fans. We've got a waterproof bag for when we go kayaking. A safe. Slippers. Life vest. All sorts of cool stuff. And obviously a really comfy, huge big bed. So not too shabby. I'm standing at the top of the Tatai waterfall in uh, Cambodia where we've just taken a boat from Four Rivers Eco Lodge to this spot and we're going to go swimming here and uh, it's absolutely pristine, beautiful unspoilt river. We just did a boat trip along the river, we didn't see another vessel and we saw some hawks, some eagles flying overhead and now we're going to go have a dip. Amazingly, I've just found seashells at the top of the waterfall and when we're staying on the river uh, we're told that quite a bit of seawater comes in to mix with the fresh water so where we can swim off our, uh, off our gorgeous little safari tent, floating safari tent, you can actually just jump straight off your veranda and into the fresh water which is kind of a mixture of fresh water from the river and uh, salt water from the sea and uh, one of the guys that works at uh, Four Rivers, a guy called Daran, told us yesterday that uh, dolphins were recently spotted in the river and they weren't river dolphins, they were actually ocean dolphins and it's the first time in the nine years that the guy who spotted them uh, he's worked there for nine years and it's the first time in those nine years that he's actually seen a dolphin in this uh, vicinity. So quite amazing. I'm hoping to see some while we're here. Might be a long shot, but fingers crossed. Just been for a swim in the waterfall and it was so refreshing and I've just seen down the bottom here some little fish jumping, lots of fish jumping in the waterfall, so really cool spot. There's some other tourists here now having a swim and as you can see there's a big deep pool here that you can swim in. Lots of butterflies and dragonflies all around this area and what a, what a way to spend a day, amazing. So we're just heading away from the Tatai waterfall which after an amazing day of swimming in the waterfalls, having a massage under the, under the falls. We saw many uh, dragonflies, butterflies, jumping fish, beautiful spot. Night 
time here and we're about to go on a nighttime boat cruise in the hope that we might spot some fireflies. So the trees over here were where we saw the fireflies last night. The ones with the small leaf is where we saw it but unfortunately we couldn't catch it on camera. Paolo, who's one of the staff of Four Rivers Eco Lodge in Cambodia. So Paolo is just going to talk to us a little bit about what they do here. Mm -hmm. Welcome Paolo. Hi. Thank you for speaking to me today. Thank you. So can you tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about the programs that mm -hmm. Four Rivers runs? So for the tours, uh, we do uh, different for each other day. So one is the waterfall strip and one is the mangrove strip. So for this trip, it will take about four hours for respectively these tours and then um, for each tour that you're joining a part of it will go to the community that's wonderful yeah. and what sort of work do you guys do mm. with the community around here so every year uh, we started with uh, our yearly project every year we do river cleanup our uh, office staff organize it with the uh, teachers and students before they head wait for their vacation, they will have a three days cleanup project with us. And, and they take all the rubbish out the Yes, river. actually from starting from the reception area, the main bridge, that community, the Thai community there, until in this part. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And how many people live across here on the island? So this island is called Koandet. It's like around 10 to 15 families right now and it is increasing in numbers. So more people are moving here? Not really moving. Most of our staff are meeting some... Oh, and making yes, families? Yes, families. <laughs> the so, community yeah. so right now, uh, for this year, there are one, one uh, like girlfriend and boyfriend starting to planning to have a marriage life for next year. And that's how, that was Naran, yeah, right? Yeah, that's Naran. They get married yeah. next year. How yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Naran took us on the trip to yes. the waterfall yesterday. So, and in, with regards to the, mm -hmm. to the island, there's mm -hmm. a school here, am I correct? Yes, there's a school here uh, in this village, in this island. So, we try to help that school to build their facilities. And then, the, right now, the students in number, they are around 50 students. And we try to engage more with their uh, facility, facility and uh, teaching education. education yes, yeah. yes. And then, apart from that, uh, we try to encourage more children to uh, go to school. Because what happened here, uh, most of the young stu student, young uh, young people, instead of going to school, they help their parents. And then we try to get involved by providing them uh, breakfast and lunch, oh, that's so, so that sweet. they they encourage to send their school, their uh, children to school. To school, mm -hmm. and then they can get an education yes, and a yes, proper yes, job, yes, and, yes. and go on to be self-sustaining. Or else uh, they will keep on helping their parents every morning to find a food for them for breakfast. And what about mm -hmm. the staff here mm -hmm. at Four Rivers? Mm -hmm. Where does the staff, because the staff come from all over, don't they? Yes, uh, but most of them, I can say like half or like 70%, most of my, our colleagues here are coming from that island. They come from the local community? Yes, from community. the local community, just like Narain. Yeah. And we, our tour guide and some of the maintenance team are, are coming from that island. Actually, what we have right now with us here, it's like the third generation of the sibling. Their older brothers and sisters are our uh, staff here before. And then when after having an experience with the hospitality, they went to the bigger opportunities such as Thailand, go out in the country, work in Thailand, work in Indonesia, in Malaysia. So they can get jobs anywhere in the yeah, world anywhere. after and working yes. and training. And here. most of them right now are in Phnom Penh, working in an airport. Wow. And in addition to that, my one of my good friends, the chef before, his name is Bani, he's now working in Africa. He's working in, in Africa? Africa, yeah. One of the islands in Africa. So he's, he's, he's a chef. working on like a, is it a similar ecological project? Yes, yes. It's similar as an eco resort, but not this type. It's like a more of a beach eco resort. Like a beach, yeah. like a beach mm -hmm. resort. Do you know about, are there any other resorts like this that uh, Four Rivers is affiliated with around the world? Yeah, we are affiliated with a secret retreat. Secret retreat? Yeah, it's uh, based in, what I know, it's based in Australia. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Secret retreats and uh, Green Pearl. Green Pearl. Yes. 
And what sorts of work do, mm -hmm. do most of them do? Do they do similar things in the community? Mm -hmm. or? Yes, yes, so with that uh, organization or a group of uh, resort, eco resort, so before we being part of it or be a member of it, one of the representatives will check your inspector properties. It, it will be in part of their checklist. So it's all official? Then, yes, yes, checklist. Yeah, yes. And do they, do they also do work with the environment, the yes, local yes. community? Most of them are, are located in a protected area, such as like this, the Cardamom Mountain, okay. rainforest. Yes. And what about the actual building of this place? Mm -hmm. So uh, they use sustainable materials yes, to build the place, yes. didn't they? What we are stepping on it, it's not a wood, it's a composite. It's a recycled wood, combination of recycled wood and uh, plastic. So it's recycled, uh, recycled wood and plastic, plastic composite. Yeah, yeah. So I suppose that makes it more durable and flexible. More durable, flexible. And more safe as well. It will not fire up. It will not burn. It won't burn. Yes. Oh, that's good. That makes it mm -hmm. a lot safe. And in terms of uh, the, the water here, you have mm -hmm. your own water filtration system, am yes, I right? Yes, out on the island. We have a water system there from the well, from a local well, work, work a local built well. And then after that, it will filter like a force filtering system before it go out from the water, from uh, from the faucet. So reuses all the, uh, yeah. all the all the water to keep it sustainable. Yeah. And in terms of the food, is mm -hmm. it all locally sourced food here? Yes, and I, this area, that island, it's not an agricultural, but some of the local villagers, they plant some pineapple, local fruit, pineapple, rambutan, and dragon fruit. So what they have, they sell to us, and we buy it, and even some local villager, we local fisher we buy, we buy it but if the stock is not enough i mean the the items from them is not enough we need to outsource it from the local market it's like 45 minutes from here so you go as local as possible yes. and then you go out from that yes, central yes hub. yes but they're they are the priority we need to buy from them first fantastic <laughs> that is so brilliant that you're so involved in the community yes. here and we're hoping to go for a, a trip mm -hmm. over to the island this mm -hmm. afternoon to have a look and maybe yeah, meet sure. some people in terms of the the the, the local fauna mm -hmm. and flora mm -hmm. what sorts of animals can people expect to see around here so first uh, i just want to discuss first this area is a southern opening of the rainforest it's the southern opening of the cardamom rainforest and this area were, were been uh, like abused, like uh, exploited during uh, Pol Pot regime. Okay. So the villagers from here, they have no source of food. So everything that moves in the forest is a source of food for them. So it was the animal right now, uh, during that time, it was, they were forced leave to go inner to the central. So I've been here for almost four years. What I saw, Sibet. A Sibet. Sibet. What's a Sibet? Sibet is a wild uh, wild cat that basically is a wild cat vegetarian cat. A vegetarian yes, cat. Yes, <laughs> they don't eat. They're not carnivorous, but they are eat. They eating uh, fruits and vegetables. Okay, how Mostly big are they? Are they similar to a domestic cat? And then they have a long tail to balance from tree jump to tree from to one another. And then uh, monkeys, squirrel are very common sighting at the back. And you were saying, mm -hmm. oh, someone was telling me the other mm -hmm. day that there are some otters. They think yes, there are otters yes, in yes, the water. Yes, 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 otters. During dry season, maybe started at February or March. There's a, like, in one month or twice a month, we can see some otters sighting here. Fantastic. And, Paolo, where do you originate mm -hmm. from? Do you come from the local area? No, or? I'm coming from Phnom Penh. You come from, from Phnom Penh, yeah. And what drew you to come and work at Four Rivers? Actually, at first, it's just like opportunity. I want to have a more uh, experience in hospitality. And then when I see the place, I've been in love with the place. Oh, like, yes. yes. <laughs> it's like uh, before I'm really a city boy. I like Wi-Fi, junk food, <laughs> cinemas, watching cinemas and nightlife. Since I got here, it changed me. So you're now a nature, nature lover. Nature and back to basics. And back to basics. <laughs> yeah. How fantastic. In terms of the people that come to visit Fort Rivers, you must have met a lot of people from around the world. Yes. So what, what kinds of people come to mm. Fort Rivers and what sorts of experience do people like to have here? Actually, what they first I give them uh, orientation about the place and then finally I will talk about the connection. When I told them we don't have Wi-Fi and we don't have cable TV, <laughs> Do they freak out? <laughs> Actually, it's like 
wow, this is the place for us for our last destination of our vacation. This is the perfect place. Yeah. It's like a good news for them. It's pretty good actually, not being contactable mm -hmm. from, from work. Being it's, it's proper off-grid living, isn't yeah. it? It's fantastic. Actually, we every guest that come here, we we teach them how how things that turning back. I mean, uh, being back to basic, being out from from the real world. That's the sense of the location, the property, the resort. That's the sense. And you can have the opportunity to fish from your balcony and, and yes. catch your own mm -hmm. dinner here as well. Yes. So you learn yeah. all about sustainable mm -hmm. living and that's fantastic. We, we try to uh, getting out from the typical, what what's the, the, the standard of resort right now, yeah. which is the accommodation. If you say accommodation, resort, hotel, the first main thing is Wi-Fi, cable TV. So here we will uh, again, we will teach the guests or we will uh, see the guests. We will bring them back from 90s or from retro era <laughs> that they open their books, yeah. not the e-book. Yeah, and you have the library and you've got a yes. DVD library yes. and everything. And how can people, for people watching mm -hmm. this video, mm -hmm. how can people help to support the work that you guys are doing here? Mm -hmm. So for the support, uh, we just, I mean, uh, first, we promote our place and then once come they and stay. <laughs> come and stay, yes, and then they they will realize this place still exists. Yeah. This I mean, this is the best marketing yeah. that the, uh, we can offer to the guests. Back to basic and then this place, this place still exists. And it really is pretty remote. We came here from mm -hmm. Phnom Penh, it was about four or five hours mm -hmm. in the car mm -hmm. to get here. And how far from Chinookville? About four hours, four hours from yeah. Chinookville. Yeah. So they're the closest yeah. kind of areas mm -hmm. to get to. So you really are in the middle of nowhere, yeah. in the wilderness, floating on the river. Actually the name of the place came up from the from this region. We have four major uh, rivers. So coming from Phnom Penh, coming from Chinookville, from Kampot or Kep, you will encounter three three major rivers and this is the port. So you're in so the basically, heart of this. Yes, so basically this was named after the four rivers, the fourth river from Phnom Penh, from Phnom Penh or from Sianokyo. And uh, you were saying as well that this river gets quite a high salination as well, mm -hmm. quite a lot of sea, mm -hmm. sea water comes yes. in here? Yes, so it is a brackish water, so we have six months of dry season, so the water also changes, it becoming salt water. And you said, uh, yeah. no, who was telling me, somebody said that um, mm -hmm. for, the, for the first time in mm -hmm. the nine years that mm -hmm. they'd been here, somebody saw dolphins. Yes, a dolphin sighting in that direction uh, during a sunset cruise. It's like our tour guide, our long, one of our longest employee here, is just doing every day the same uh, job, entertaining the guests, dream, dream, uh, bring them to the trip, and then they suddenly October this year, last, only two, year, two months ago, they saw dolphin. First time in his, in his life. And also. ocean dolphins, right? Yes, yes, not, it's not a salt water, yes. Wow. It's a salt water dolphin. And it, like, for one week, he saw three times. He saw three times three in times, one yeah, week. Yeah. Amazing. Well, they're getting friendlier, I yeah. suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Pello, thank you so You're much welcome. for speaking to me today. And uh, just for our viewers, uh, what's your website here at Four Rivers? So please visit us at www.ecolodges.asia. Echolodges.asia and yes. please come and stay at Four Rivers. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't recommend it enough. So thank, thank you, you so Carlo, much. and thank you Four Rivers. Well, I'm here with Wee and Wee Hello. is our tour guide. He's going to take us over to the island where you grew up, am I right? Yes. You're from this here. is my parent hometown, but I went to do the Junutu you know, in the Kokong City for study. And after that, I had to come back to look after my grandmother and grandfather. Yeah. Three times. Sometimes, yeah, he need to go take the boat, go down behind the island for fishing by the net okay. during the night time. What does he but catch? Oh, for the night time can be barracuda, you know, like a red snapper. Yeah. And another kind like I don't know how to call like maybe black fish, tiger fish. So ah. depend on to. Okay. We have many kind of fishing during the dry season. So this is for the best fishing that they can earn money. 
more than the, the catfish. This is for the basket, the trap that we throw in the in the bottom of the river, try to cut in the crab. The crab. We call a uh, mangrove crab. This one very expensive also, can be ten dollar for per kilo like that. Okay. So right now it's still you know, like the the water like still fresh and salty water combined. So this is the December. So in January, so do we see a lot of chili fish coming first? And it's time the you know like crab and yeah. lobster, like especially like tiger prawns, come from the ocean. Mm. And where do they supply them? Do they go to restaurants and? So sometimes we, right now we have the you know like the resort around the island. Yeah. They know the villager they are fishing, so they order. They just tell them if they have any you know like many kilo, they will get it all. They don't need to you know like uh, to say to the supplier that yeah. near the Tatai Bridge or market. Sometimes just just keep in here. We say to the company already. So we have three company around the island, and also we have especially like the, when we have the public holiday, a lot of people come from Phnom Penh, you know, Cambodia visitor. Right. So they arrange the community boat for cruise around, and the boat driver will tell them, explain to them that on the island, so they are fishing and catching crab and fruit plantation. So they have to stop on the island for. 30 minutes to one hour to visit a moment, you know, like a little bit, and they buy some from the they village. Buy some so them. right now, I think, yeah, it's a good time. They don't need to spend long time and sail to the far away from here. And yeah. less time consuming. Less time there, yeah, and they can yeah. more time for fishing as well. And the price become Is more, yeah, more higher. higher yeah. It's a delicacy. Exactly. So all the children that live on the island, at the morning, the parents they will take the boat, bring them to school on the side. So they have the morning study, and in the afternoon they come back. And then they so can we have a small school. school, like primary school on these. Uh, yeah, it's like normal. This is local. Yeah, food. this is the we call a snake fish. They get from the fresh water in the main uh, in the on the island, like sometimes in the well. Yeah, so snake fish. Yeah. And this is for the cell in the mangrove. Oh, snail. 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 Yeah, sorry, snail in the mangrove. Yeah. So sometimes when they go fishing there, they don't catch fish too much. They will catch some snail. Because we eat, you know, like they know how to cook everything. We have snail, crab, fish, yeah. or any kind, you know, like, yeah. And this is like a vinegar fish also. When, yes. Yeah, sometimes when they got a lot of fish, so they make it dry, become dry fish, and they put with the, uh, you know, like a... Uh, preserves it. Fish sauce. Yeah, yeah. Should be, can keep for long months. Keep, keep preserves yeah. it for longer, yeah. So they have fresh, and also they keep, sometimes, especially before going to the rainy season, they have to prepare for the food that can keep for a long time. Yeah. They have dry fish and la uh, vinegar fish, so... Also like, yeah. And they protect it from the yeah. flies. But them. here, no vegetable, so people they don't have time for grow. Yeah. This is the kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. You see the, even the. The preserves, yeah. Yeah, they have. They grow, the, you know, like a lamb. Oh, look sometimes, at the fresh lamb. Yeah, fresh lamb. Sometimes can be spoiled, and they have to make become vinegar lamb also. You see. To preserve. Yeah. This is we use for soap. Also, you can make like a uh, juice, lamb juice. juice also, yeah, but we don't have eyes, we need eyes, so, yeah. Sometimes they use gas for, it's not for cooking, when they're cooking, they will cook outside with the charcoal. With oh, fire, so, okay. Yeah, with the charcoal, with the fire. But this is for the, during the, after they finish eating, at the night time, they need to make warm again, oh, because okay. our food can be spoiled. Yeah. So when they cook one time like this, so they will, yeah, they will boil again. Heat it up. Yeah, heat it up and should be the become good. You see this? This is the red snapper. Oh, I Even see. red snapper. Yeah. yeah. So it keeps it good. Keeps they it. They fishing warm. and then die. So the red snapper cannot be to be dry fish. They have to, you know, like make soap or yeah. Keep it yeah, moist. Keep it there. Yeah. So tomorrow, if they have some leaf or you know, like vegetable. How to cook? They that will take this one for cooking. That's yeah. red snapper. Yeah, this 
delicious. So this is homemade. Yeah, you see fish sauce. You see homemade fish sauce. Yeah. Yeah, you can try. You can test. Is it very salty? You can test. It's because mm. sometimes fish sauce in the supplier, they don't make in fish. They make with the chemical. salt and chemical. Salt. Exactly. Yeah. Like MSG. this one. <laughs> like this one. You see, it's just very clean. Because so this one is not only made from fish. They make from salt and with the chemical. But this is the real one. This is the original yeah. homemade see, fish they, sauce. Look how much there is. Yeah. And it's really tasty compared tasty. to the bottle, exactly. like compared to the supermarket one. It's really nice. It's more salty, more than. Yeah, yeah. but you can actually taste that the fish was fresh yes, that made it. Exactly. Yeah. When you cook, you know, like you will get strong smell. Yeah. And more than that, the from the from the shopping, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So just, this is fresh yeah. water, rainwater. We just do like this, and then we drink it because we didn't know it's nothing on the roof yeah so sometimes they need to cook because so they know what's the rain because our raining here is very nature no pollution like Phnom Penh no you know, in city or... when they get raining everyone they go in, in the room they go in house because they get rain from the city it's like uh, you like pollution smoke yeah. can we get fever or sick really? but we are here it's like when raining come we happy we want to play with the you it's really be like children it. oh, I want to play raining clean swimming rain. it's clean water and we will drink fresh without cooking so so all three of these fresh water tanks here? yes fresh water tank for the uh, keep for drinking so not for take a shower we have the well that we use for washing clothes we use for uh, you know, like cleaning the plate or take a shower yeah but this is must to keep because so we have six six month dry season so they don't have space a lot for the fresh water yeah some family they don't have a lot of tongue like this we don't that can keep fresh water from the raining not enough for support to the, the dry season yeah they will take the boat go to the waterfall uh, so they will bring so the fresh mm -hmm. water from the waterfall drinking but the waterfall they must be cooking because sometimes a lot of animals, they drink in water, some can be poos or some yeah. plant can be poisoned. Can be, you know, like... So they have to boil it? Yeah, have to boil it. But the raining, that's a matter. Oh, okay. So small boy. <laughs> We're here at Wee's uncle's house, just across the way from Four Rivers, and he's just shown us the, uh, <laughs> the natural rice wine that is made locally here. Yeah. We after Pol Pot. Did they lose the records of who owned what land? So they they lose a lot. Yeah. So they need say they when they come back, so the villagers chief they said if someone come back, they will give back the land to them. Okay. If some not if some people they don't come to the village, they will give to another person. Someone else who needs someone it. Else. Yeah. So right now we have many some family that new person they come from another province, so they are can be belong of that land. Okay. So like my uncle, you see, when he come back, he said, where is my land? So the license cannot be him anymore. Okay. So this is the guilt for the, the new person already. Because so after the purport, they make the new license again. Because yeah. all the records yeah. would have been destroyed, yes, I'm exactly. sure. Exactly. So because sometimes they don't want, some people, they move to Thailand, they said, they don't want to get any more. They want, they have good job, good money, good living there. Mm. So they know that they have big land on this land. Yeah. So they said, if someone, they, they give land to someone, you know, like the government, they give land to someone already. If they selling land, they get more money. If you come back to like, why they selling the land for them? Mm -hmm. So they cannot allow, so they, allow it. they don't have, you know, like a strong, you know, like, cannot say like, mm, before it's my land anymore yeah. so yeah so to make it. to so make it fair yeah yes yeah so we're just walking the, on the island now it's so gorgeous like there's so much um greenery lots of butterflies and fruit plantation lots this is fruit. the rambutan rambutan tree is it and this is the mangosteen this is a rambutan tree mangosteen mangosteen this is a mangosteen tree this is a very hard growing we need to take care a lot. How long does it take for it so to get this one, big? So that one, I think maybe eight to ten years. Eight to ten years. Yeah, we will spend three or four years to be covered 
not uh, to get strong to protect it. Yeah, from yeah. the sun a lot, you know. Yeah. yeah. Because they know that that's beetle the nut. grandma here they like it. Chewing it, yeah. And yeah, she the, likes the beetle nut. The beetle nut with the the powder. Yeah. The pink powder that yeah. from the snail that they burn it, you know, they make it. Ah. And they another kind of the leaf. I don't know how to call it so yeah, they and eat and then their teeth become brown. And what's it what's it good for? Is it just is it sometimes can be your teeth become strong. Yeah. You know, your teeth become strong. But for the eat it's just for funny. Oh, <laughs> it makes for, you feel good. You know, like, just for boring, you know. Yeah. Even grandpa, they smoke a lot. They smoke with the tobacco, with the palm leaf. Uh, they grow along the river bank. They don't have cigarette that they use the nature smoke, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So and the lady, also that one from the. The beach. well is this for where Fresh they water. they they shower from? Yeah. yeah. In the wet season, we don't use them, because our river. It's uh, become fresh water already. Yeah. Yeah. So here, just keep. So we use only the river for take a shower, swim, and then uh, for cleaning, washing the clothes, everything. But now, the river becomes salty. We must to clean up before we use it. Yeah. We have to pump out again, yeah. and then take the leaf, and the you know, like muddy or sand become clean water. Oh. So every year we need to clean up every year before we use it because we keep for six months during rainy season okay so we cannot use directly because can be you know like smell from the the plant yeah and the leaf that drop on the water this is the right field just heading into the rice fields here They still grow every year, but only one time in one year. One harvest. Yeah, because so we don't have enough fresh water. Okay. That's why the river like salty. So we're just waiting from the raining come, so they have enough fresh water in the field. So the villagers that belong up the, the around the island here, they come to grow together at the same time. Okay. They use the tractor and the machine by the community, so they have. They're all oh, you're my community, yeah. Okay. So before we use cow and water buffalo. Yep. But now we have the community they offer you know like a one structure. But they share they share it. Yeah, they share each other. So it's lovely. Yeah. So the rice is only used it's for not it, sold, yeah. it's it's only for the locals. Not selling. Yeah. We, they can share with the neighbor. Somebody that they don't have enough. Yeah. Yeah, they can share like yeah, 10 kilo, 5 kilo. But it's not for uh, harvesting and selling. Yeah, not so for like yeah. business or for like selling to supplier. How big is the island? It's about, oh, I think maybe one or two kilometers square. One or two kilometers square. Yeah. When you look outside, you look like so small island. But you go in, you see? It, it's spacious. It's big, yeah. But in the back, become like smaller like this. Yeah. If you check in the map, this island, you look like fish. Oh, know? it's yeah. fish shape. The head, you like the long, like long side like this, big side. But in the, the back of the island, like become small like that. Yeah. And how long have people been living here for? Oh, before long, long year ago, you know, before Khmeru, before right. Port Port. Well, before So, Port yeah, Port. we still have some tree, you know, like durian tree, that's still alive. That From before? Yeah, from before the Khmeru also. And so did the Khmer Rouge come here to this island? Yeah. They did? They collect the people, they just, they not protect here. They just move the people to another village. Took them out. Yes, take them out by boat, go to the city, yeah. and everyone, and then let them go the trekking in the forest, move to the deep, deep forest, you know. And yeah. put them in the camp. And and were your grandpa, were your grandparents t as part of that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my mom. And your Also mom? my grandmother. Wow. So my grandmother, she have five children. My mom is the older sister, and three boy between the younger sister. But during Port Port, 
so they move them separate way. So my mom with the her brother, so three brother and my mother, my grandmother and the, a little girl like my auntie, she move another way. Mm. So my mom said he lost two brother from the hungry, you know, sick, and die, and one boy. So the another brother still alive with her, but unfortunately, you know, it's almost finished of the Khmeru already, but yeah. he tried to find the frog in the right field and he cut the, you know, like he used, he used the hand yeah. for cut the frog, but the, 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 the snake inside already, and they mm. buy her, they buy mm. him, and then after three or four days, the snake, he's, yeah, he's gone also, it's the cobra, oh. yeah. And do you know what, um, what did the Khmer Rouge uh, use the island for something? No. no, here just was left. Just left. When they come back, everything like forest. Was okay. Yeah, even on the other side there, we have the temple pagoda. Yeah. It's you know, you know like uh, they start the building during the purple. When they come back, all the construction building still not finished, and then now they keep become the history for the young people they grow up again. Okay. That's good. So now we have still have monk come back from the you know we are Buddhism. Yep. We want to be have the small temple close to the village because we want to you know like pray. Yeah like pray and let the monk bless something and send to the food to our parents they pass away during the purport. And especially we believe about the ghost. Yeah. So people die. We need to let the monk bless something and send them to the paradise. To a better place. Yeah, to the, yes. Mm. So we must do that. Even another province that's far away from the, the village, that's far away from the city, they mm. always do that also. Yeah, we not keep mm. like some people dead and then let burning no. without make the you know, like a celebration, mm. as, like a funeral of them, you know. Yeah. We must do something. Yeah. That's why even the the Khmeru destroy all the temple, no monk, but we still left with the old people. They know how to. They remembered. They remember how to, you know, bless, because they was to be the monk before. Yeah, they still they bless and they do something like, how's the culture when the people die, yeah. how they make the sudura when the people die. Even no temple, they they knew, you know, like they can how to make it. Yeah, even outside in the field. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's good that they remembered and yeah. that they, they honoured them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any cobras on the island? Cobra? Yeah, on the island? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm only wearing <laughs> flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> but now very dry, it's okay. We have eighty six kinds of snake in the Cardamom Mountain. Okay. Yeah. 86. So this is I learned from the Doctor Snake in Saint Wheel. So Anna, my boss. So she invite them come to teach us how to protect when the snake snake bite before we go to hospital. So you know how to. Yeah, how they, to... Think, they saw a lot of picture yeah. the snake that live in the Cardamom Mountain, and he said we still have eighty six kind of snake live in the forest, and but only sixteen kind of snake that have poison. Okay. Yeah. And we have strong poison and you know like a medium. Medium. Yeah. It's yeah. like a viper. Yeah, cannot be kill people. Because we can keep for a long time, eight to ten hour before we go to hospital. And but you, you so do you tie in Australia? We learn about tying a tight bandage. Yeah, tie. Yeah. Yeah. And not to move around too much. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Lie still. Don't panic. <laughs> but we are never worry about the snake because so some our parents they know how to you know like protect some. Yeah. They know how to take some plant or root of the tree. Natural remedy. Yeah. Before so we arrive hospital. This is for this the... Is the tractor? The tractor and the, you know, the machine. Shaker. How do you say? Shaker. Shaker. For they remove. Yeah, yeah. Shaker. They remove the seed of the rice. Of the rice. Yeah. Harvester. The harvester. Harvester. Of the rice. Oh, children coming. Oh, Compa there's babies coming. Look, they get back here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Where did where did it come from? What are they doing? You said just play. 
Hello, what's your name? 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 Hello. In the morning, they all go to school. Yeah. Together. Yeah. You go to school together? Mak nana mak tika nana. Hey, padok me nai. No. Padok. Ini kita dah padok. Padok na. How are you guys? He's great one. Study great one together, and for her, great two already. Great two. And a little girl here, not enough dig, not enough small egg. Small egg that cannot go to school, but at school yet. the teacher still allow her for join with them. Oh. Yeah, because they know the <coughs> our teacher, they know you know like our parent of the student or the kid, they know them need time to work, oh. and then they request the teacher to take care of them. Oh, cute. Yeah, so can I can I give them? Sure. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, you need a pink one. Cho chip boy, cho chip boy on, chip boy to almost. This one. This one. Would you like one? Chong man, eh? Oh, this is for the they know for the girl. Oh, he thinks it's for the girl. Thinks it's for girl. There's more girls over here. Yeah, more girl over there. Oh, you got two, did you? You look beautiful. Nang kopi na nga. Oi. Aba bisa yung food. Huh? Aba bisa yung food. We just met some of the local kids who go to school here. Well, this one's too little yet to go to school, but these guys go to school here. So I'm about to try some beetle nut, which I've never tried before in my life. You tried it? Wow. Very bitter. Oh, it's very bitter. <laughs> the oh. spider. <laughs> Young people. Mm. They don't know how to eat that one. It's like it's also quite dry on the teeth, isn't yeah, it? Makes yeah. your teeth kind of go a bit. Scratchy. If you combine with the powder, I think maybe yeah. tonight you can test for your dinner tonight. With a bit of sugar, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah, it's quite um, garlic, some ginger. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think what it's like because it's it's bitter, but it has a, a yeah. like a powdery texture almost, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 Not ah. sure. <laughs> I'm not sure it's for me. Do you want this bit? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so these are some of the thing, the leaves used to make the thatching for the roofs of the houses. You see, this is our their life. They're living. The coconut. So they don't have. They have fresh coconut for juice for drinking, but the price is the same, and they cannot collect keep for sale to the. Tourists or visitors come, but somehow they keep some because they know. So for him, so this is for them, they collect the old one because they can keep for a long time. Yeah. So we're going to try some fresh coconut. Oh, thank you. Wow, it's massive. Check this out. This is fresh. Fresh coconut, freshly cut on Koandok floating island. And, uh, mmm, mmm, that's delicious. How is it, hubby? Tastes like coconut juice. <laughs> it tastes good though. A bit fizzy. So, this is the statue of Vishnu outside the school. And there's the, is the temple connected to the school? Yeah. So everywhere around Cambodia, that's far away from the city, so the school and the temple must together. Be together. Be together. Yeah. So, yeah. Because they cannot separate, you know, like, it's the land belong of the government. They have to make together make the it school together. and the temple. So this is the school grounds? So they have only the morning school, but in the afternoon, the, the children must go back home. So they come from Peking, they come by motorbike, yeah, they have a boat by the train. So we, what, time, what time do they start school? So normally 7 to 11, but someday the kids let, you know, because we come by river, so we, we cannot make sure for the time to go to school. Can be 7.30, 7 or 7.30, they can go to the And class. only till about 11? 11, 11 or 11.30 or so, depend on because so some 
time they have you know they have both problem and the kid you know like they lack because so mm. their parents they need to cooking mm. keep the food to them yeah at, come to the school also. and is it so that they can have time to help the parents in the afternoon so or? in the afternoon sometimes the parents already eat the fishing right so when they go to home they know how to you know their parents they set you know set up for the food to them yeah and look after the kid you know like yeah. sister and brother yeah. And so when the parents come home, yeah. everything's ready. Yes, already. So all a family. The big children, they can have time for, you know, like for have the parent for fishing. Yeah. Because we have different fishing. Sometimes the parent they go morning until afternoon, and the you know like uh, the big student when they go home in the afternoon yep. in the evening. Yep. So they can fishing another kind also. They can do yeah. so. You've got two lots of fishing going yes, on. Yes, exactly. It's more um, efficient. Yes. What's this yeah. building? New building? It's the new temple. Oh, yes. This is the new the temple. Month. They replaced from the old one by wood to be the cement. Okay. So it's this the is the old. This the old. One? The, the old one. This is the old temple. Because so every year, when we have the celebration for the Buddha, yeah. maybe two or three hundred people come from another another place. You know, we don't have space for to fit them all in. Yeah, to yeah. be yeah. one what, what was that old building? This is for the, they want to remove from the old one. It's a temple as well. This oh, is that's, a, oh, that's yeah. part of the old temple. Then I told you that they did not get finished yeah, during yeah. the purpose. Oh. And now they will keep, become the story yep. during the purpose to let the new people, like children, to know about the killing. Yep. The so this, uh, this, uh, the very large unfinished structure behind me was the beginning of a temple that had they'd begun building when uh, Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge came in and they, it never got finished but what they've done is they've kept it as is to educate the children about what happens here during the, uh, the the reign of the Khmer Rouge and then this is the new temple that they're building you can see the statue of Ganesh to make sure that they fit lots of people because lots of people come to the island from different places and they want to make sure that they've got enough space to fit them all in during celebrations. Beautiful bougainvillea plant. So that loud ringing sound you can hear is the cicadas singing. So loud that my husband actually thought it was a pump. <laughs> So this building, is this the main school building? Yeah, you see this from the donation by the Munichi Udong from 2010 starting for open. Is that a Cambodian foundation? Or? Yeah. yeah, Cambodians but live in USA. Oh, ah, so okay, now yeah, yeah. She's, you know, she escaped during the port port there. Yeah, yeah. But she's she been do, live in the, during the port port. Yeah. But after port port, yeah, yeah. Try to be, you know, like, uh, to study more, and now she has good job, good money, and she work with the charity. You know, I don't know how to call it, but she collect a lot of money from the good person to building. It's not only that place. Right. So she support, she supports some place around the uh, Cambodia oh, yeah, as well. Yeah. Do you know her name? Oh, no. I don't know. So but she started this remember. foundation. Yeah. But she's right now. I think maybe. 47 or 48 years old. Okay. Wow. I know her first, but I don't know her name. So she escaped during Pol Pot yeah, and yeah. then went to America. Yes. And then she's giving Did back they to the community. Because they've got English on the sign. Because the teacher, yeah. he doesn't understand English some. Okay. So sometimes, have free time, they teach them how to sing a song of alphabet in, Kembo, uh, in English. A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. Okay. You know, and they teach them how to say hello because they know that a lot of tourists, it's not from our company another company as well when they have time they always come to visit uh, without guys sometimes they come by themselves yeah so we want to say we want the teacher want to teach them how to friendly with the you know to welcome you yeah say hello how are you welcome to Cambodia so yeah and he, the teacher teach them how to respect you know yeah. yeah when they hear them to say I know everyone they happy they want to come back again oh they will, you will tell your friend, like, you will meet the good friend of the villager, so they respect, you know, it's not sometimes, first, when they come, yeah. just look like, you no. Know, 
one thing we've noticed about the Cambodian people is that they are just so friendly and yeah. so lovely. Yeah. Everyone smiling. Yeah. yeah, everyone has been so barang. lovely. Barang. When they saw you, they call you Barang. You know Barang? No. Because you ring the before port ports, friends. Yeah. Cambodia under friends. Yeah. So we call Barang is the friends people. Yeah. Uh. That's why the, our parents, when their children grow up, mom, who is this? Who is this? So, oh, it's the Barang. Mm. Even you are come from Australia, England, but you have white skin. So it's the you same. You should be become Barang. Barang okay. is like foreigner. The foreigner. Yeah. Your white eyes, white skin. <laughs> And we've just made it back for the most beautiful, spectacular sunset after our tour of the island. What a magical day. And we even saw a rainbow. And I'm just heading off now, just left Four Rivers floating lodge behind us. We've really loved our time here at Four Rivers. It's such a beautiful place for a getaway. <laughs> Totally secluded, no internet, no phone, and lots of nature, really beautiful. <laughs>